Hi, I'm David Medin, Data Protection and Cybersecurity Lead at CGAP. In the digital age, particularly in developing countries, central banks have to step up to the challenge of effectively enforcing and supervising on cybersecurity protections. In 2017, African banks lost over a trillion US dollars to cyber fraud. And what we're finding more and more is that the attacks are against medium and small institutions as the larger ones build up their defenses, which means the need for an ecosystem approach if we're gonna protect the financial sector. And protecting the sector is critical uh, both to build on financial inclusion efforts to date and to ensure the integrity of the sector. So what are the challenges? Uh, the two key challenges on cybersecurity are one, the lack of cybersecurity professionals, and two, in smaller countries, having sufficient demand to support a cybersecurity center. CGAP has a proposal to, which is addressed in our paper for this conference, um, to create regional or shared cybersecurity resource centers. Uh, these centers could build on efficiencies of scale serving multiple countries um, and be more effective on threat sharing across borders. How can these get started? Well, central banks can play three critical roles in this process. One is that they can be champions of these centers, um, and they can do that by either encouraging or in some cases mandating that the institutions they regulate participate in these centers. Uh, central banks can also be coordinators. They can work with the regional associations of cyber central banks that they participate in um, and help develop smart, uh, flexible, uh, intelligent approaches to cyber defenses. I and mean, then they could be cheerleaders to encourage cooperation and public-private partnerships. Financial institutions just can't do this on their own and they need the help of the central bank um, to coordinate cybersecurity efforts. And so with that, and they play in these three critical roles, champion, coordinator, and cheerleader, we can more effectively protect critical assets, uh, particularly for people who can least afford to lose money. I look forward to discussing this paper at the conference this fall.